Hey everybody, do a quick demo on the new Lattice library. Uh, so Lattice is a way to manage lots of different patterns and clocks. Um, it's based on a design pattern that I find myself using often and wanted to make it into a library. So Ezra helped out and a whole bunch of other people too. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so to start, I've just got a new file here. Um, I'm just gonna do all this right in Maiden. So first we need a lattice. So we can just require that. Uh, and that's all you need to do. So now we've got the lattice object available to us. Um, I'm just gonna do the standard init function. And we'll be setting things up inside here. So we've got the lattice required. Um, what do we need to do with it now? Well, let's make a new one. So oops. So to do that, you call uh, lattice new. That's going to generate a new instance of this table or this object for you. Um, you can do this as many times as you want. So you can have as many different lattices going as you want them as you want there to be. Um, so if we were to do this, um, we could save this. It's not really gonna do anything interesting just yet. Uh, by default, this syncs to the Norns clock. So if you're clocked either internally or via MIDI or um, you know anything that the Norns clock itself does, this is just automatically gonna pick up on that. So lattice uh, defaults to um, uh, a meter of four and a pulses per quarter note of 96. So we're just gonna keep the defaults for now. This is just a basic usage video. Uh, so we have our lattice and then um, after that, you know, it doesn't really do anything yet. So we're gonna tell it to start now. If we were to run this, um, it's there's a lattice that's running, but it's not doing anything right now because we need to add patterns to it. So let's go ahead and add a pattern. Um, you could do this after start if you want, but I'm going to do it before because I think that makes a bit more sense um, to do this in between. So we're going to say pattern A equals um, my lattice, and then we want to add a pattern to it. And note that I'm using the double colon syntax here. This isn't the, this is not the period. This is the double. So new pattern and then um, curly brace because we're gonna pass in a table. Uh, this is shorthand, you know, if you wanted to have a table, you could do it like this. This is functionally the same as this, so. That's one of those gotchas that sometimes you don't notice. I got, I lost many hours to this one. All right, so LKAJS is not a valid parameter in case you're wondering. Um, the There's two key things that you need for any pattern. You need an action and a division. So action equals, it's gonna be a function. And um, we're just gonna print something out here for example. And then we also need a division. So I'm gonna set this division equal to one. So save and run. And we've got some print statements coming up here now. Um, if I go in, you can't see it, but I'm going into uh, my norns and I'm gonna go over to the Edit, clock, and I'm gonna change the tempo. Um, I'm just cranking it up right now. So you can see our example is starting to appear faster. I'm at 287 beats per minute right now. Uh, I'm gonna turn it down. Okay, so let's, let's stop the lattice. So you can call stop, we get okay. Uh, you can call start, and it'll start running again. 
you can call toggle, which will, if it's started, it's gonna stop it. And if it's stopped, it'll start it. So what are these numbers here? This number is T, which is the transport. So if we just pop over to the lattice source really quick, um, we have this notion of transport, which essentially is just a number that's always gonna be counting up um, perpetually while the lattice is running. And this is based on the uh, PPQN value. So PPQN is something of an industry standard. It's pulses per quarter note. So every quarter note, by default, the lattice is going to pulse 96 times. And you can set this to whatever you want to set it to, but the default's 96. So if we come back over here, we can see that our first, uh, you know, our first tick of pattern A was zero, and then our second tick was 384. So 384 divided by 96 is four. Okay, let's make another pattern. I'm just gonna copy and paste all this. Pattern B, uh, we'll call this example two, and we're gonna change this division to a half. So save, um, we run this. We can now see We can now see that with the division set to a half, um, pattern B is going twice as fast as pattern A is going. There's a single pattern A, and then there's two pattern Bs, and a single pattern A, and two pattern Bs. And you'll note that this number, 384, is equivalent to this number, 384, pattern two and pattern, or pattern A and pattern B. Interesting, what's going on there? Let's make one more pattern. Call this pattern C. Uh, we'll make this. I'm going to rename these here too. So I'll call this quarter. I'll call this half. I'll call this one. Save, rerun. Okay, so now what happened? Well, when transport was at zero, uh, one, one half, and one quarter all pulsed once. Uh, then the quarter pulsed again at 96, then half pulsed again at 192, but so did quarter. And then the quarter pulsed again at 288, and then all three of them pulsed at 384. So we've essentially just made uh, whole notes notes, half notes, and quarter notes. All these are run off of a single super clock. So underneath all of this, we have this concept of a uh, this loop that runs that syncs to the Norns clock and it pulses. And then based on the patterns, phase, and division, it keeps track and keeps all these things in sync for you. Uh, you can change a lot of this stuff on the fly. Um, but the very basic usage is essentially you create a lattice and then you add patterns to it and then uh, run it. So something else we can do, we were starting and stopping the entire lattice just now, but you can also um, do that to the patterns and the API is the same. So let's do pattern C stop. And then we killed all the quarter notes. Uh, pattern B stop. We just killed all the half notes. Uh, we do pattern C. We could start that again. So of course, all these commands I'm typing right here, you can use in your code. So a really obvious use case might be to map K2 to my lattice toggle because then whenever you hit K2, it's going to start or stop your whole sequencer. 
um, these these functions are where you would add you know your samples to trigger or your notes to play. These functions could call other functions. You could break this out and have conditional logic. Um, So you could have, you could build your logic up inside these. Uh, so now if we run this, this is just gonna, yep. We're getting, we're getting some nopes because something is a nil value right now. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You can destroy patterns if you want. You can enable and disable them. Um, so I guess the last interesting point is if you wanted to change the uh, meter, you can do that too. So if we change the meter to five, um, these actually aren't going to be whole notes anymore because the lattice doesn't have any concept of music theory and whole notes are kind of funny in music in that they're always just the entire 100% length of your measure. But the quarter notes and half notes and eighth notes still work the same because they're all based on pulses per quarter note. So if we wanted to make this work, um, I think our division would need to be one point. Uh, oh, what is it? I just had this written down. I think it's one point. I think it's just one in, I think it's five quarter notes. So let's see how that looks. So we've got a whole note, half note, Quarter note, half note, quarter note, quarter note, half note, quarter note, whole note. Yep. So you can have fun with multiple polyrhythms that way. And um, yeah, hopefully this inspires you to kind of really quickly make sequencers or any polyrhythmic pattern based scripts. So I hope you enjoy and. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just throw them up on lines. Happy to, happy to help. Thanks.